Hey everybody, welcome to the High Path channel. Today is grocery day and also sandwich day. Come hang out with us while we grocery shop and take you along as we make lunch. Let's go. Before we go grocery shopping, of course, we have to have some sustenance in us. Israel is making a very quick oat milk with just some peanut butter and some bananas as well. Initially, he didn't want to put any peanut butter, but I was like, you know what? You're going to try some peanut butter in here and add that last little banana that we have, which is about a week old. And we're going to make a thick smoothie type of oatmeal. I personally really love the combination of peanut butter and banana. I always love to make sandwiches out of peanut butter and banana, so this is a great combo for us. Today I decided to take along our three youngest to the grocery store, so off we go after the smoothies. I really like to go into stores for any discounted items, so I'm picking up a few rolls here, and we saw some organic bok choy, which is Mercy's most favorite vegetable, so of course we had to get them all. Once we're done in the store, Mercy decided she also wanted to help pay. So she is getting all of her change out from her piggy bank and she is helping us pay for some of these groceries today. Mercy will find any loose change on the floor or anything around the house just so she could gather them all up for a grocery day, which is just the sweetest thing. We're getting some gas and our windows cleaned by Mercy, of course, and it's time to head off to the library. We haven't been to the library in a long time, so this was a nice little outing. The kids really wanted to buy some books, but I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let's just go to the local library and you can just borrow some books. So we took the youngest three. When we first started homeschooling, I really wanted to promote lots of reading and the love for reading, and we are slowly getting there. Mercy and Grace couldn't wait to start their books in the car. Alrighty, back at home, we are unloading all these groceries for our grocery haul today. Now we're going to show you exactly what we got for our plant-based family of seven in groceries for the week. I really appreciate it when the kids are here helping because there's quite a bit of groceries as you can imagine for our large family of seven. So any help is definitely appreciated. We buy mainly organic groceries as much as possible but I am definitely cutting down a little bit trying to just um, lessen our grocery bill just a little bit every week just to save a little bit of money alrighty all the groceries are laid out here is what we got hey guys so this is our haul we have an island full of um, mainly vegetables and here we just have some miscellaneous items like pasta and things like that so let's go over this corner really quick and then we'll move on to the produce section so let's just start off with some like really random stuff like we've got some dog treats and parchment paper sponges slippers for the um one of the the girls we got some coconut aminos which we use for like a soy sauce replacement we love using this one so let's put this away actually we've got some organic all-purpose flour i like to mix this with our spelt just to give that extra like if we're making bread it makes the bread nice and fluffy we really really like that i've also got some limeade just as a treat it was on sale we have some um just taco shells or like um, tortillas flour tortillas we have some chips back here we've got some just some clearance bread we like to shop the clearance section a lot so that's why i like to shop there you get some pretty good stuff um, some snacky items. So we've got some rigatoni pasta. These are actually on sale, a dollar fifty each. Really, really good deal. Most of the times, like a dollar ninety nine, two dollars, over two dollars even. Um, so yeah, I like to stock up whenever we can. So I've got some uh, rigatoni. I've also got some medium shells here. We've also got some fettuccine and some angel hair. I love using the angel hair for like um, Asian-y noodle salad, like the peanut noodles that you saw us make and like the Singapore noodles. It just, I love the texture of it. It's nice and thin like a vermicelli. We found this really cute sort of like donut. Um, it's like, it's, it's a chalk, but it's in this shape of a donut. It is so cute. So the kids got this with like $1.50 in the clearance aisle. We've also got some Beyond Burgers. So as you know, grocery day is always sandwich day. So instead of sandwiches, I mean, technically burgers are sandwiches. If you agree, let me know in the comments. 
So for sandwich day today, we are going to have some burgers. So I decided to just get some Beyond Burgers. We're probably just gonna broil it. I don't know how to grill. Maybe I should have Trey teach me. I don't really know how to start the fire, but um, yeah, he is the grill master. Um, we grilled like mushrooms before, oh, it's so good. So he is definitely the grill master. I'll just cook it inside. That's what I do. And then I've got some, just like some cheese. We plan on making some pizza this week and some frozen fruit. So I've got some strawberries, some mangoes, and one which is a pineapple back there. I've also got some saltines for the kids and some hummus. Now this is the first time I've tried boar's head hummus. This one is a sweet chili garlic. Um, there's like all sorts of flavors, but I got this one. I've also got an everything bagel. Looks really delicious. I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, moving along to our biggest like area or section of our grocery haul, we have all of our um, vegetables and fruits. Some of them are not like, okay, we've got some markers. The majority of them, they are just fruits and vegetables. Oh, I've also got some um, Follow Your Heart brand of the cheese, which we're gonna put onto our burgers today. So on our island, I've been really trying to sort of cut down our grocery bill as much as possible. Now, as you may know, organic vegetables are very expensive. And so I really try to get what we need for Trey as much as possible. So I've got lots of romaine lettuces here, romaine hearts. I like, oh, we found some bok choy at the grocery store. This is uh, Mercy's favorite vegetable. So of course we got all of them as much as we can, because you know, this little bit it's just going to be enough just for like a meal or even like just for two people. Uh, we've also got some bell peppers, a box of spinach right down here. This week I am planning to go on my diet again. I'm going to try to lose a little bit of weight. So I've got um, quite a few packets here of tofu, which I'm going to use as my protein source, along with like hemp seeds, um, things like that. So that's why I have um, my tofu this week here. Also got some organic grape tomatoes. These are usually really expensive. And so I found it at uh, um, Walmart and they are a lot cheaper there. Got some strawberries, some limes. I actually have more of these. We use these every single day for Trey's salad dressing. So I got about seven of these, one a day. Got a head of cabbage, some canned items here, just some coconut milk, I got the full fat and then I've got some crushed tomatoes here. We have some parsley and two bunches of cilantro for cilantro and lime dressing. I have some ginger here. Now you may see that we cook a lot with ginger, but today, or really because of Trey's um, surgery, he had um, surgery on his fibula bone because he broke it. So uh, they prescribed aspirin, which is a blood thinner to help uh, make sure that there's no blood clots in his legs. So instead of eating aspirin, he has requested to just take some ginger. We're gonna do like a ginger garlic shot. Um, and that's also a blood thinner, natural blood thinner. Moving along, we have some beets, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli. We got as much broccoli as possible. One cucumber, we got some yeast just for some bread making celery onions more red onions a bunch of bananas right here these organic grapes are on sale at our walmart they're usually so expensive they're like eight bucks organic like what is this three pounds something like that three pounds of grapes at like smith's or albertson's are like eight bucks nine bucks um, at Walmart, our local Walmart, it's under five bucks. It's like four ninety eight or something like that. Great, great deal. I've been trying to stock up and eat as much as eat as much grapes as possible. Also, this is going to be a huge part of my um, little weight loss journey this week. And yeah, I've also got some mini watermelons. Actually, they're supposed to be organic watermelons. Um, usually, they're a little a lot bigger than this. Today, I mean, you're like the size of. I don't know, a um, softball, <laughs> it's so small. But you know, it is what we, it is what it is. We got what we got. Uh, we've got a bag of lemons just for some dressings and things like that. And then 
a bag of apples, our honey crisp apples. So that is our haul for this week. We should have a few things left over, such as like pasta. I like to stock up on that. So whenever possible, whenever it's um, low in price, I will definitely try to stock up. So we'll have leftovers. We love to just build a stockpile whenever possible. If everything, if anything is on sale and you use it, you may as well purchase like two or three or more if you can, just to stock up on the low prices. Now it is time for lunch. So let's get into making lunch. We have to have all the kids help get all these groceries put away and then it's lunchtime. When we grocery shop, we like to do pickups because it saves so much time. I was talking to Trey and I was just joking about it like, man, when we go grocery shopping, if just let's just say you just do regular grocery shopping you are loading your cart at the grocery store unloading it on the belt to have them scan them reloading it back into your cart to unload it into the car to then drive all the way home and unload it back in your house i was literally mind blown of how many times you're unloading and loading your groceries and pickups just really saves so so much time and that's how we like to shop i'm preparing trays salad as well so i have some mushrooms going on so for our sandwiches we are going to do it two ways so i had the idea of just broiling it really quick so grace just laid out all of our burger patties onto a baking sheet she is seasoning it with a little bit of ancho chili powder i believe for some smokiness and we're going to flip it and do the same thing on the other side we like to choose beyond over any other type of sort of like um, vegan burger just because it is soy free and we like to control our soy intake as much as possible. And we really like the flavor of the Beyond Cookout burgers or the stackable ones. They're really, really good. We're going to put that in the broiler for about five minutes and we'll check it in a little bit. Emmanuel, our oldest, wanted to pan fry his as well, so he's going to do that himself. Since we got those rolls from the grocery store for relatively cheap, we're just gonna use the rolls that we have for our little burger buns for the day. May as well. Alrighty, so the burgers after five minutes look like this. The pan fried ones looked pretty good as well. We're just gonna add some cheese on it. And then so for the burgers that we just broiled, we're going to flip them over and we're going to put them in for about two or three more minutes just until it's done. The girls were already ready for their burger, so they are making their own little burger plates. Mercy couldn't wait, and so she is taking her first bite. We went pretty simple with our burgers today. We just added our cheese. We didn't even make a sauce. But if you have, you can definitely use some like vegan mayo or put, you know, it's a burger. Just dress up your burger however you like. Today, we just had some romaine lettuce, some ketchup, served it with some red onions, and that was lunch. Our oldest Emmanuel actually made a very large burger. He had like a double double. So he had two burger patties. He is a growing boy. He is 13 and he is almost six foot tall. And <laughs> he's a very healthy eater. <laughs> As for me, I am going a little bit less carb, so I'm gonna do sort of like a burger salad. So I have some romaine lettuce, I have my patty here, and I've got the red onions, and I'm just gonna eat it as a salad. I'm gonna make it very, very simple for myself. And I just enjoyed my burger salad just like this. You know, some pickles would be actually really good in this, or maybe some mustard even. Mm. Thousand Island, mm. I probably should have like dressed my salad, but I was just too hungry. I just ate my salad without any dressing along with my burger. The kids too enjoyed their sandwiches or their burgers. And actually Israel, I believe he had a double burger as well. And most of our kiddos had like two or three patties. They really, really enjoyed it. Ma, this is the best sandwich Tuesday of the year. Oh, ma. All right, everybody, we are about to finish lunch. We thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We will see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.